Hello everyone, this is Ralph and Katrine Productions here, and today in this video, I'll be unboxing a locomotive that I bought from Wakari. Uh, I bought this engine about uh, a few days ago, and it actually came in the mail on July, I'm uh, not July, I mean March 2nd. It's actually supposed to come uh, March 3rd, but it came early. However, the video was a little bit delayed because I had to order some track so I could test out the locomotive to see if it works. So I got the track finally, so anyway, let's go ahead and unbox this engine. Uh, this one, uh, this one came from Arizona, and the, the, the shipper actually gave me a sticker saying thank you for supporting my small business. I didn't, I think I had a small business, I don't really know the history. So anyway, let's go ahead and unbox this engine. Uh, unbox it and see uh, what engine that I got. Looks like the tape's a little stronger. <laughs> there we go. That should do it. Right, let me get rid of some stuff out of here. <laughs> and here it is. So um, some of you probably are thinking like, okay, what is this a Walther's locomotive? But it is kind. Well, it's not really. Uh, the seller actually came. Uh, actually came in a box like this. This is the Walther's train line, but it's actually, but this engine did not came from Walther's train line. It actually came from Prototype because I was looking on eBay and I saw some similar boxes or whatnot like this. So anyway, uh, this is the this is a Prototype BNSF X Santa Fe GP60 number 8734. Um, I got this engine because I'm actually a big fan of the. Uh, of the BNSF GP60s, including their in their uh, former uh, Santa Fe paint scheme. Um, so yeah, um, and also uh, before I actually watched a video uh, back at then when I was a kid on YouTube of this guy who was filming the locomotive and the other one switching cars and whatnot. I'll link that video in the description below of the video if you guys are interested to check it out. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and unbox this, and we, before we test it up, we're gonna have to probably fix a few pieces on here because if you don't see it well, um, uh, the pieces are some of the pieces are not broken off, but more likely are uh, strapped out. So let me go ahead and try to fix that. But let's go ahead and unbox this unit first. So yeah, when I got this, I actually laughed a little bit because why is it in a Walther's train line box? But Oh well. Let's go ahead and un unbox this thing so that way, um, that way I can see um, what else I need to do and see how the locomotive is and whatnot. Oh, I think we've got to be careful. Oh yeah, because the engine is also on this side as well. Oh. Okay, that I have not seen that before. Actually, I haven't really got a prototype locomotive before, so this is probably my first time uh, getting one, I guess. But it looks like the condition of it looks okay. It looks like a few uh, uh, not looks like a few pieces might came off. Well, don't worry, I could probably fix those. Let's go ahead and get the engine out so that way I can look at it for myself. Gotta be a little careful though because it's a little tricky. I also don't want to damage it too. Okay, here is the locomotive. And looks like, let's see. Hmm, everything looks okay. Looks like a few handrails are came out a little bit on here. And looks, but the locomotive handrails on the side, the back and whatnot, they look like they're in good condition actually. At least that's good news. Um, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. It looks like I may be probably missing a piece right here, which is probably one of those handrail pieces. I could be wrong. And also, if you can actually look uh, closely in the camera, focus, you can actually see some crew in there. So this is actually my first time getting a locomotive with crew inside. This is actually one of the best uh, locomotives I got, too. 
So, um, yeah, we're probably gonna have to do a little bit of work on it before we test it and see. Uh, we gotta fix the handrails and probably uh, see. Um, there's also some other pieces in here too. Let me get the head, put the engine down first, so I can show you. Looks like there's also a few other pieces in here. Oh, this is the snowplow. I think he. Uh, I think. Um, strange that the snowplow is silver. Um, that's not really the actual color, but. So yeah, there's actually some more pieces in here too. Hmm. I think, um, yeah. There is a few pieces in here too, but I don't know if it belongs to the Santa Fe engine or the BSF engine. So yeah, I'm gonna have to do some work a little bit. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take it to the other table uh, with the light, and then that way I'll see uh, what can I do. So yeah, um, so yeah, this is kind of turning into a little bit of uh, work on the engine and see. So yeah, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and move on to the table, and then we'll do some work on here. Okay guys, so I had to put the camera down for a minute because I had to fix the handrails. Uh, so anyway, I fixed the handrails over here, and as well as over here. So... Yeah, I had to literally turn the whole thing around because the handrails managed to came out and go over like this. But luckily I was able to undo it and put it together. But it was a little bit painful because the handrails popped out really easily when I was doing it. So the only thing I gotta do is fix the handrails up here, which I try to do, but however the handrails are so badly uh, bent. And the reason why is because the seller managed to put it in a Walters train line uh, box, which he managed, which the box was actually supposed to hold an Amtrak F40PH locomotive because of the parts right here, because of the plow and also the bits and details on the locomotive. But however, he managed to shove the GP60 in there and as a result causing the handrails to bend and whatnot. So yeah, um... So I'm gonna have to fix the front handrail. So basically, I have to replace the entire front end because it's badly bent. As well, um, as well as fixing a um, a horn because there's actually a missing horn on here, which is located right here. Because I was looking at the pictures of it. So yeah. So yeah, that's the uh, two things I gotta fix. But the locomotive runs well. I actually tested it before I before I start filming, and it actually runs really good. Yeah, um, I do gotta replace the couplers right here because it came with those black couplers, but no matter, I got uh, parts for that. And somehow, um, he managed, I don't know, uh, who had it, the locomotive before, but I think he was trying to maintain it, not maintain, try to do something in the back, and uh, cutting that a little bit or breaking that or whatnot, I'm not really sure because, again, I never had, I didn't, um, I didn't get this engine until now. So yeah, um, so yeah, despite that, um, it's okay, it works okay. I do need to do some work in the in the side in the bottom though because let me turn it right here because there's these little pieces right here. I think it's for the truck design. And I think I, f I found out a few of them, um, I think I found that a few of them popped out or probably broke off. So I'm trying to debate what I'm going to do. I may probably have to cut, I'm going to probably cut a little bit of the pieces away because it's touching a little bit on the trucks, which is not, which I don't know if it's a bad thing, but I want to be safe and sorry and whatnot. So yeah, I'm going to have to do something about this or either try to fix it or try to just basically get rid of them. I'm not really sure if the real engine in real life had it, so maybe I'll do some work on that, and then maybe after that, then I'll come up with my final decision on it. So yeah, um, the locomotive actually is okay. It runs really good too, so we're going to go ahead and put it on the tracks and get it ready. So we'll go ahead and put it on the tracks right here. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, I think I see a little, yeah. I think the handrails, uh, I think that, there we go. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do some work in the bottom to fix the little bit of the, of those pieces that popped out, as I mentioned earlier. So anyway, let's go ahead and plug it into our uh, controller. Uh, I have a, uh, this is actually, um, DC controller, and actually this engine is actually DCC and sound, so it actually works though, but 
I need to get a DCC controller though. So anyone just go ahead and fire it up and get it ready. So it runs, so let's go ahead and give it some power. Give us a second, the engine's like shutting off right now. There we go. Okay. Alright. Also has a headlight in the back right there. Also the number boards light up too. As I turn off the light, you can see it. Right there. And then once the once I put the engine in reverse, which is right here. You'll see the light right there. So yeah, so yeah, the engine runs really okay. It has a rough start, but however, because this engine is a DCC and sound engine, so I'm gonna have to get a better, uh, D uh, better uh, control system for DCC. But despite that, it works okay. I'm going to unplug it right here. Okay, so I think the engine works okay. Um, so yeah. Anyway, my final conclusion: I think the engine is a good one for your addition to to the to the layout. If you guys have one, um, I will rate this engine nine out of ten because it's okay. I just wish that the handrails will not be bent like that, but oh well. Anyway, I will have to do some work on the engine though because I gotta get the handrails fixed. I have to replace the full the whole front again and replace the couplers. I have the coupler parts and then I have to replace the horn. And I'm not really sure if I can be able to get the horn piece because I did look on uh, eBay and apparently the the pieces of the GP60 are kind of hard to find. There is a GP60M though, but I'm not really sure if they're going to fit well with the with the Wafter prototype engine I have. So I may going to have to wait a little bit whatnot or else think of what I can. But despite that, it works okay. So yeah, um, this engine is actually still around today. But however, it's been uh, recently, well not recently, uh, lately it's been uh, renumbered uh, to 100 in the, in the 180 series. Or it could be less than that. And it's been repainted into the H3 scheme. So yeah. Anyway, despite that, uh, I really like this locomotive. It's a good addition to the layout if you have one. Or else if I have one, I don't have a layout yet, but I'm working on getting one. So yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe for more content in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next uh, HO Scale review or probably another review or something. I'm not really sure. I haven't done any of these H. I haven't done any of these. I haven't done any of these reviews for quite a while. So, so yeah, it's it's kind of a little bit of a comeback. But right now, um, I'm just kind of waiting on some stuff as well as um, thinking when's the right time to do it. So yeah, I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please like and subscribe for more content like this. And I'll hope you guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. And see you later, rail fans and model railroad fans out there. See ya.